Hi, my name is Garden Sound. Welcome to Garden Sound 365, the show where I write a piece of music every day for an entire year. Today is Theory Thursday. Every Thursday we have a theory lesson, and today's theory lesson is going to be how to read chord symbols. This is going to build off of last week's theory lesson. So if you don't remember what that theory lesson was about, or you haven't seen it yet, go watch that. So last time we spoke, we went over what the difference between a major and a minor triad is. So let's briefly recap that because today's lesson is going to build on that. We went over that a major triad is three notes, always three. The word triad means three, right? Three notes played at the same time to spell out a major triad, right? That is one, four, seven. I always think about triads in half steps. And so for the purposes of all of these theory lessons, we're going to be learning about things in half steps. So we have seven half steps between the first and the last note in the triad. We're going to be using our base of E, okay? So the root chord of the E major triad is E, right? And seven half steps above that, B as in boy as the outer notes in our triad. And the middle for a major triad is four, so one, four, seven for major, making the distance between the first note and the second note, or the middle note, further, right? There's our triad. The minor triad, make that middle note closer to the bass note. There's our minor triad. As a chord symbol, the E major triad would be simply written as E. The E minor triad would be written as E minor. Two ways to write E minor. Some, and this just depends on where you're from and what the convention is, okay? So let's talk about a few modifiers. The note name of the chord, or the, uh, the chord name, the symbol, the, the main root of that chord uh, is going to be whatever the letter is. So if a chord is called um, E, that means the bottom note of the triad is going to be the note E. Now, there might be other notes, symbols, modifiers next to the letter E. Sometimes a chord will have numbers like four, or two, or six, four, or it'll have numbers like seven, or nine, or 13, or add two. Um, we're not gonna go over all of those. We're gonna go over the most common. So the most common things you're gonna see next to a chord, um, at least in terms of guitar music, are either suspensions, which would be like an A chord, for example. That would be A major, okay? be A suspended. Now the difference between A and A suspended um, is that the third, okay, the, 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 in terms of the triad, the one, four, seven, which is major, remember one, four, seven, major. One, four, seven is actually one, five, seven. The suspense comes from this fifth note, which naturally wants to go down. That's why an A sus is called A suspended. The second most common thing you're going to see is a seventh chord. Now, a seventh chord takes the triad, one, four, seven, okay, and adds another pitch on top of it. Um, and that is typically the seventh note of whatever the root scale of the triad is. So the root scale of an E major triad is E, right? And it's the same for every bass triad. The bass triad is the scale. An E major triad, the bass scale of that is E. An A major triad, the bass scale of that is A. A B flat minor triad, the bass scale is B flat minor. So it's whatever the chord name is, that's also the scale that you play to get that notes, to, to get that particular triad's set of, of pitches. That's how you know what pitches to play when you solo. A blues progression, all right, and, this, and, the, and the chords of that song are 
E, A, and B, then we want to play notes that are in the E, A, and B scales, right? Now, next week we're going to get into how to spell scales, which is going to unlock even more areas of interest. But this week, again, what I want to get through to your head is how to read this symbol. If you don't know how to read this symbol right now, go rewatch the video. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. I'm feeling a little bit, um, feeling a little bit electronic today. I'm gonna write a like a hard beat kind of house or techno song today. Also, remember, theory is a tool, not a rule. You can quote me on that. I think that's the end of my talking for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I look forward to making more theory segments. If there's anything specifically that you want to know. Um, leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure to include a video on that. But like I said earlier, I'm trying to progress the knowledge of theory. I'm not necessarily trying to teach you specific things out of canon. I want these lessons to build off of each other. So next week we're going to talk about how to spell scales and what notes make up every scale. Um, thanks for watching.